Today we're going to be taking a look at the hydraulic brake kit, uni servo free backing 12 inch left and right hand brake assemblies for 5,500 to 7,000 pounds. And that's going to be part number AKFBBRK 7. So here's what our brake assembly is going to look like. Now the biggest benefit to our brake assembly here is that it is an entire assembly. We're not going to have to worry about getting the hardware kit, a wheel cylinder, or anything else as well as putting on the pads, they are hydraulic brake assemblies, which means they're gonna work with surge type brake actuators. What's nice about these assemblies is, is they have a free backing design. And what that means is it's gonna let you back up without engaging the brakes, even if the actuator is activated. The fall away brake shoe is only gonna anchor on the drum when the brakes are engaged as the trailer is moving forward. The pads are going to be fully bonded to the shoes and not riveted, which means it's going to give it a longer life and more of a bite on those brakes. The tapered edge at the bottom of our pad is going to help prevent any kind of cracking and crumbling that can lead to a mechanical lockup. Our brake assemblies are going to have a fine tooth adjustment gear, and that's going to allow us to fine tune our brakes, but it is a manual adjustment, so we are going to have to check our brakes and adjust them periodically. There is going to be a plug on the back that's going to help keep out all the dirt and debris from getting inside and this is right where we're going to make our adjustments at. Now the mounting flange bolt pattern is going to be a 5 bolt and it's going to fit wheels 14 and a half, 15, 16 and 16 and a half inch. Our brake assembly is going to work with axles that are rated at 5200, 6000 and 7000 pounds. Now this is going to include the left and right hand assemblies so to start out we're going to go ahead and remove our drums so we can pull off this cap. Just take a rubber mallet and we're going to tap it until it can come off. Put the cap aside for now. Now on the top of the nut here, we're going to clean some of the grease off because there's going to be a retaining clip that's holding it in place. Just take a shop towel and wipe off some of the excess grease so we can find that retaining clip. If you want to grab a flathead screwdriver, there's going to be a tab that's going to be in between the two channels here on the nut itself. We're going to bend that tab down so that we can actually turn the nut and take it off. Now you want to be careful because our brake assembly is not going to come with the nut, retaining nut or washer, so you want to keep this hardware so we can reinstall it. Next, we're going to grab a pair of channel locks and we're going to grab the nut and just loosely turn it so it will unlock it. Then we can take it off by hand the rest of the way. And then we can pull off that retaining plate. We're going to pull this off and set it aside. And then if you need to, again, grab a flathead screwdriver and we're going to pull that washer off that's right behind it. So we're gonna grab the back of the hub, slowly pull back, and we'll set the hub aside as well. So what's gonna be holding our assembly in place is gonna be these nuts right here. There's gonna be a total of five of them going around the axle shaft. We're gonna be using a 916 socket to remove them. Now again, you want to hold on to the hardware that comes off because our new brake assembly is not going to come with hardware. Now with the hardware removed, we are going to have one last point that we're going to have to pull off before we can pull the assembly out. And that's going to be right here where the brake line is actually attached. You need to tilt the assembly out so you can get a wrench in there to loosen that fitting. So we can take our new assembly we're going to slide it over the studs, then we can reinstall those lock washers and nuts back in place. I'm just going to put these in there hand tight for now, and then we can come back and tighten them all down. With all the bolts in hand tight, I'm going to come back and I'm going to torque them down. So with this brake assembly in place, we're going to go ahead and repeat that for the other remaining positions. Now that'll finish up your look at the hydraulic brake kit for the left and right hand side, and that's going to be part number AKFBBRK-7.